guys, beach, guys, let me go to the beach, guys, beach, 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 beach. And so the conversation I'm having is like, we'll get there, but we're going at my pace. You're such a sweet girl. You are. And so I can still get my fingers under there, so it's not choking her or anything, but it's nice and snug, so I can have full control. Come. And then I'll welcome her out. So I'm going to show you what, I, what the walk should look like. And then how, how we give corrections. And then I'm actually just, I'm going to hand it back to one of you guys. If we see another dog, because I want to see if I can just see what happens before I sort of just fix it. Um, but generally speaking, I want her to be following me. So notice how I don't really have to do much. But she's going to start to... Nice. Now I'm not pulling, and this is normal because she doesn't want to go away from you guys, which is also fine. So all it took was a few moments of me. So I don't even have to give her the correction. If she does a bit of that protesting, I just stand firm and say, because to her it's like, what's, you know, who's this guy? And I'm normally used to running here and get off me. And so I'm just letting her know that old behavior doesn't fly. So watch me and then I'm gonna to start to coach you guys actually doing it. Now, if she started to pull here, I'll just give her a little correction. And now that correction, give me a hand. I'll show you first. Pass me your hand. Yep. I'm not pulling. It's it's a hey. Just letting yep. you know. So yep. do it to me. Correct. Now that was a 0.5. Do it. Correct. Now that was a 0.5 to a three. Yeah. Nice. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really? it's, it's nothing. Like it doesn't hurt, but the idea is we are just doing it. In what way? How hard that is. Right. I didn't didn't feel it at all. Mm -hmm. But interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't have pulled that hard. Yeah, and that's the problem because people people will pull it, people will do it too, but they'll do it 50 times. And, and, and all that's happening there is I'm having a conversation with her saying, I don't agree with that behavior. So, yeah, well, let, me, let me put it around your hand. Oh, yeah. so, so, so it's not pulling. Pulling is what damages the trachea. Pulling is what causes the dog to choke. This, it's a, hey, I don't agree with that behavior. Try it on me. Correct. So that was a point five, try three. Yeah, there you go. And that's just, le and, and see this, this is over excitement. And the same on the collar? So that releases. Yeah. That would be the same yeah. on the collar. As soon as you pull, it releases. Pull and release, pull and release. Same as on the collar, correct. And so the misconception with these correction chains, people think you're choking the dog, but actually if I, if she was pulling and I was pulling back, that's what chokes the dog. But giving those corrections just lets her know that behavior, not okay. Whether that's pulling, growling at another dog, any sort of aggression. It's the, it, it's the same function, but obviously the choker chain's metal, this is material, and then this kind of goes loose as well. And at the end of the leash, there's pressure. So what she learns here is that when I get to the end of the leash, I'm creating pressure. Does that make sense? It's so important for walking. So for you guys, short term, I would say coming here and just doing this sort of training with her. So she can see how she's like, guys, beach, guys, let me go to the beach. Guys, beach, 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 beach. And so the conversation I'm having is like, we'll get there, but we're going at my pace. And this is like, And my energy always with her is like, hey, it's cool. Like you go through what you need to go through. So if, if you know, your son, right, was having a moment where he was crying or frustrated or angry, you just be with him in that moment. It's the same thing here. We're just being with her in this moment of, because this to me is anxiety, which why if she's anxious and the wrong dog comes near her, she gets aggressive. And you need to have that impetus when you give the corrections. Make sense? Because it's either going to be a correction from another dog or a correction from you guys. And believe me, a three on the slip lead is way better and less expensive than a three from another dog. Shh. Nice. 
so that was really polite, so I'm going to win. So watch what happens if she gets to the end. See, she's learning already. She can't go to the end of the leash. She's going to be as fast as she can. So she's going a little bit forward, so I'm just going to bring her back and then say, Shh. I wait for the eye contact. I'd like her to sit. Shh. Hey, sit. And now I'm using spatial pressure. So I'm, I'm claiming the space so that she just takes it down a moment. Come on, sweetie. I know you can do it. Shh. Okay, and then we keep going. And the moment was her... The moment was her sitting and checking in with me. And so what I'm communicating to her here is I want you with me on the walk, not on the walk. As opposed to like there and here and there and here and oh, there's a smell there. Now if she says to me, I need to go to the toilet, I'll see if she needs to go. I'll take a moment, I'll stop with her. I'm not gonna obviously punish her for that. Good girl. And then we keep walking. Now, again, if she pulls, I just stop and walk back. So she learns that when she pulls, the correction comes because the leash is, she's at the end of the leash. So I'm not correcting her, I'm just teaching her to follow me. To the point where we should really be able to just nicely walk and if I stop, she feels, do you see that? She feels the pressure, so she stops. Make sense? So the problem is people go, That's it. That's hi, it. I'm going for a walk with my dog. Yeah. <laughs> and the dog is leading. Yeah, really, and the dog, yeah. and so another dog comes and the dog goes, hey, this is my pack. Get away from me. So see already, oh, okay, she's pooing here, which is fine. So as opposed to if another dog, I've got some bags here. If another dog was approaching, I would just be taking her over here and claiming the space. Thank you, yeah, my dog's in training whatever she's aggressive whatever you need to say to get people to move it along so let's let's do you guys why don't you start john so the instruction is the circle always goes through your thumb so that's if she does bolt you've always got control and then here it's short but not tense so yep start to walk She's great, eh? So it's a short leash, but not tense. Yeah. Nice. If it becomes unruly, you stop and you get her to sit yeah. and settle. Let's not worry about that now because we're giving corrections and we don't want to negatively pair heel. Yeah, oh. But remember at home how I was teaching you. Yeah. That's where you do heel till the cows come home, food, food, food. And then when you come out here, you say heel, and she goes, I know this pose, right? So if she was becoming totally nice and then in her space, so turn into her space and then ask her to sit, sit, nice. Eye contact, and then you keep going. If you're worried, if there's a dog that doesn't look friendly, if yeah. there's a six bikers coming, that's what you do. And you're just stop. You stop it. Yeah, if yeah. you want. I'm yeah. saying if you're a bit okay. like, oh, what's happening here? Yeah. Stop her and move her to the side yeah. and get her to sit. Yeah. So she learns commotion, dogs, just means I look to you for guidance, mm -hmm. as opposed to I don't know what to do, and she just goes and does whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're limiting yeah. her choices. Shh. 
any other dogs near her, I'll just let them know. So firstly, I've got total engagement. Did you see the tail went up and she went, no thank you. 